welcome back, I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production professional. And in the previous video, we talked about AMA linking in Avid. So bringing in into these cards, uh, the native camera card files, and then transcoding them into a lower proxy version here. And making sure that your editor understood that they had to work from the transcoded media and not from the AMA linked media, okay? Avid performs much better when things are transcoded in a structure or a video codec that it prefers, such as DNX HD. Now, what I want to do today is um, show you how to conform up in Resolve. So I'm going to go to my edits bin now. I'm going to create a new sequence and I'm going to call it um, conform. I'm just going to call it conform to raw. Okay. Open that up, and what I want to do now is just grab the transcoded media, and I'm going to take all of it across. Okay, so put that down there for card one, close that out. I'm going to go to card two, I like that, drag that down as well, stick it on the end, and I'm going to go to card three, and do the same again. Two different forms of codecs in here as well. We've got DNX85 and we've got Prairie's Proxy. Okay, so two um, DNX85 is a relatively good codec, but still not um, considered uh, good enough for iframe or intraframe um, uh, HD delivery. 100 megabits is your limit there. So I'd consider this as an offline iframe codec or a proxy, um, and we've got. Prairie's proxy as well. So we've got two different forms of codecs here going on, two different forms that I consider to be proxies. Um, and now let's think about this sequence as your um, your picture lock, okay? <laughs> I mean, it's just a clip, little clips on a timeline, but <laughs> you know, um, just consider it to be your picture lock, okay? So we now want to go to resolve and we now want to reconnect, okay? So if you click on your sequence, right click, output to file, and I've got loads of old files in there. I'm going to link to audio and video if we open up the options. I don't need to use use marks. I don't need to use use selected tracks. Uh, we'll link to media, that's fine. Click save and save again. And it's now made that file. We can minimize. Okay, we're now in resolve. And you can see I've made a conform bin here. Okay, good. What I want to do first is just check the conform settings. And if you jump over to the cogwheel, and you go to general options, you can see that we have the conform options at the top. Now, you can play around with these conform options, okay? Sometimes you get results, sometimes you won't, but this is a good selection here for the clips I've got. So I've got use time code embedded in the source clip. We've got assist by using real names from the source clip file name, okay? So that's gonna be my main source of assisting conforming these things up, okay? Happy with that? Close that down. And now we're going to jump over to File, Import AF, EDLXML, and I'm going to choose that one, click Open, and then this panel will pop up. Now, if I leave this panel as it is, generally you can, um, the media, the DNX85 media and the Prairie's proxy media will be populated into this project and the sequence, which is not what I want. I want it to be a newly connected sequence that goes to my raw files, okay? Right, how do we do that? So the first thing you need to do is click link to source camera files. That's your first big thing there. You click okay, and there we go. You can see that it's fully populated, all the clips are there. And if we jump to one of these clips, we can click on it and go find a media pool. Um, if you jump to the media page, everything has gone into the conform bin. And we can see that the original clip has now been reconnected. We open that up and we go to Reveal in Finder and we can see that our original media is in card one and is here. Okay, and that's it. That's how simple it is. And it works in multiple folder directories and works with multiple different camera manufacturers and their codecs. So it works very, very well. If you want to now, you're ready to grade. So you could choose to grade the native camera card footage and then export it out at a different codec at the end, or what I would do at this stage, I would actually transcode all of this out to something like ProRes 444 or another high quality codec. It's not gonna make your images any better, okay? It's just gonna place the footage into, into a more stable codec that your computer should have better playback performance with, rather than long got where your computer's working incredibly hard to nick back, 
knit these images together. Okay. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hit subscribe for more videos from me. Thank you very much. Thank mm -hmm. you.